uh, dealing with data feed, uh, if we have uh, data feed that is um, uh, intraday data feed that is not enough, you need to see beyond one year because basically you, I, I get one year only for now. And it, it is a problem. I, it's not a problem for me because I look at uh, uh, historical data feed, data which is weekly and uh, daily. I have the daily as well somewhere here. If I don't have it, that's fine. But one day or 360 minute charts, they give you limited. So if you if you want to get a lot more data, uh, you have to follow you have to follow the a couple of things. First of all, let's deal with the time zone. Time zone is important to match uh, indicators all together. Uh, some of the indicators will will be different depending on your time zone, especially the D D DRL, dynamic reversal level. Uh, so let's deal with that. You go to global setting. At the very end, you see time zone setting. Uh, uh, change it to New York. So for all, all of us to match, it will take time, but this will change it, apply all. This will change it to all the charts. Okay, apply all, okay, whatever. So you do that. Second, to add more data, this 360-minute uh, chart goes back only uh, less than a year. So what I will do, I'll go to chart settings, as you see here. First of all, this is CFD. This is a CFD contract or even Forex. So you go, you don't need continuous. You go to none. In terms of symbol itself, continuous contracts, you, you don't need that. None. And you go to data limitations. See on top here? Change it. Uh, let's let's do 2010, which is seems reasonable. 0, 01, 0, 01. It will start from 2010, 12 years from uh, 12 years uh, data, which is good. And then keep it at intraday. You want to do intraday, and then change here number of days low to day, date use date range. So that that will give you a lot more. If you want to do only see five years, do 2015. Or seven years do 2015 whatever but 2010 seems to be reasonable now you do okay it will give you a, a note saying that you want to uh, redownload intraday data symbol to try and get more data you said yes you say yes and you're done and now you wait it will take time it's a process because it's it's adding another you know 10 years or 9 years of data, intraday data, so that will take time, okay? Let's wait and see. Uh, it's still not done, it's still waiting uh, to download historical data, as you see. Uh, historical intraday data, so this is intraday data, this, this is 360 minute chart, so it will wait, it will take time until this is over. You know, you might uh, you might do this when you have um, when you don't when you when you are not trading when the market is slow or overnight. Uh, do the uh, global setting, time zone setting, change it, uh, and then also do the data feed or sorry the um, the data the the um, intraday data adding adding intraday data. Do it in a time where you don't need to trade or you don't need your station. Okay.